am Maureen Tara Nelson, MTN Matchmaking, with the very, very beautiful and talented Stacy. And hello, everyone. And with the very talented and handsome social media manager, Ryan. Hello. Project that voice, Ryan. So Ryan, just so you, Ryan. everybody loves Ryan, and because now things are opening up, people, if you feel more comfortable coming in to my Melville office to interview with me, you got it. Or if you prefer the Zoom or, you know, just from the comfort of your home, fine. Or even if you want the Manhattan office, because our social media manager is going to be organizing our Manhattan office. I can't believe it. He's actually moving out tomorrow Hi, to the city. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Trisha. So, yeah, you have to tell me, because remember, I can't see anybody. With this new, it's not new anymore. I don't know why I keep saying it new, but with the Facebook Live producer that they have, it's the worst ever. And it I can't see anything. Stacy can't see anything. The only one that could see it is Ryan. But we did get a lot of dating questions. So we're so excited. So excited to answer so many dating questions. And I do believe we missed less. Friday Facebook Live, and that is because we had to pick out the perfect place for Ryan to live in the city with his friend Nicole. So, best friend. his best friend. So, I hope everybody life partner. is life partner. They're going to have babies together. Well, that, actually, I don't know that. I'm just. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to get her. Uh, okay, so, sorry, I'm doing three things at once today, as I usually am, but, all right, so why don't we start on the first question, and anyone that does tune in, if Ryan, when Ryan sees you, he will say what your question is, okay, so Ryan, oh, and I did try to cheat today, only because we're so crazy busy, I said, so Ryan, you know, can you just let me know what the questions are today, even though we don't usually do that? And, you know, hey, Maureen. Oh, that's that's funny. I see Maureen. Maybe there's a delay, I guess. But so I said to Ryan, could you just tell me what the questions are just today? And what did you say, Ryan? Said that. What? When I asked if I could just know the questions early today. Better to be surprised. He said, it's better to be surprised. And you know what? He's right. He is right. So. And I'll be at some time surprised. <laughs> um, let me just tell one of my celebs. Hold on, super. We are on Facebook Live. Just now. If you want to tune in. Sorry. Um, ask the question, Ray. Number one. Yeah. Um, should I put my new relationship on hold if I'm busy with a stressful move? <laughs> Are you sure that's not your question, Ryan? Okay. Can you repeat it louder, please? Sorry. Project. Project. Should I put my new relationship on hold if I'm busy with a stressful move? Okay, so most people know people are moving out of Manhattan into Long Island, okay? Or into the Hamptons, which by the way, we are having, someone is hosting us a Hamptons party but sadly, I, I hate to even bring it up because it's not, this, this event is not for our clients. 
our next event will definitely be for our clients. So I don't want any of our clients to feel bad Hi, if Asa. we're talking about it. Hey, Asa. I'm trying to block the back window behind my head. Anyway, so um, uh, da, 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 da. labor, what, what is Maureen saying? Or is it a spelling error? I can't read without my glasses. Can you read Maureen's thing? Hair looks great. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. Actually, um, anyway, so does anybody know of a professional hair person and makeup person that can come to my home and they are COVID negative? Oh, I'm COVID negative. For those of you who watch us on social media, I realize that many of our clients are calling up and they don't feel comfortable for another reason, not dating on internet dating sites. It's because they have no idea about that person. That person you're going out with, yes, could be a murderer. Yes, a million other things, but could have the COVID virus. How do you know? And they're going to want to kiss you. You can't do that on a first date. So you might have noticed some recent press on us. And one of the questions that we now ask is, have you had the COVID tests? And also, have you gotten the antibody test? So in the beginning of us asking that, a lot of our clients said, really, you know, it's such a pain to have to go and get that COVID test. And I have to tell you, when I saw, because, you know, many of us watch the daily briefings. When I saw Governor Cuomo get that COVID test, I was like, there is no way in hell I'm ever going to get it. Uh, never, never, ever. So because my clients, our clients were asking us, you know, does anyone have it? Does that person have it? Blah, 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 blah. I realized, you know what? I have to be a good example for my clients. So I went last weekend and got my, was it last weekend, Ryan, or the weekend before? Um, last weekend. Hmm. Looks like a week. Okay, yeah. So I went and I got my COVID test. It is all on our YouTube videos. So how do people find us on YouTube, Bri? YouTube.com. YouTube.com slash MTN Matchmaking. You will see it is three different videos of me actually getting the test, and it was nothing. It was so much easier than when Governor Cuomo did it. So I don't know if they're using easier tests now, which I'm assuming that they are. And Yours so. Look like a Q tip. Yeah, it was so easy. Mine's and like a they, bristled Q-tip. Well, you got yours a while ago, but so but mine went in both. But it was so easy. And again, it's all on the YouTube video. And so I got the results back yesterday, and of course it's negative. I mean, I knew it would be negative, but I wanted to be able to prove to our peeps that if we're asking you to get the COVID test so we can say, oh, yeah, he or she... Oops, sorry. He or she has gotten the test and they are negative or even better if you have the antibodies, which that's my next test. Right. If you could remind me about that. So if I can do it, all of you can do it. And it's a really, really good thing that is making a lot of our clients very happy about. Hopefully, you'll consider doing it if you haven't done it already. All right, so back to that question. Since so many people are moving now, which again, mostly it's people moving out of Manhattan to Long Island, and it's out east, and instead of once Labor Day comes, they usually leave the Hamptons, people are staying in the Hamptons now. However, my brave soul our social media manager, Ryan, he 
and Nicole are moving, and they both work also for MTN Matchmaking. They are moving into Manhattan. So we're doing that tomorrow, moving them in. We are really, really excited. Are you excited, Ry? Yeah, very. Okay, so to answer that question, I don't think that anyone should put off dating for anything other than an illness, God forbid, okay? So having said that, if you know someone that maybe you connected with before and now you're going to go through a move, I guess I'm assuming that's what the person is asking, then just be honest with the person and say, you know, I like you, I know we just met, but I'm going through a move. So I'm going to be busy, but I would like to continue getting to know you. That is the then best way. Feel free to come over and pick up a box and help. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> exactly. In fact, go out with four people. No, kidding, kidding. Why is the AC on? you really are right? busy. No, just kidding. <laughs> right? Is the AC on? Yeah. So I guess uh, the sun, bright sunlight in my face from the two windows. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm going to ask Ryan. My celeb does not know how to go on Facebook Live. Would you please text him? Stacy, stay on the phone. Just text him how to get on Facebook Live. Okay. So, and could you tell me what the second question is? I'm asking for a lot today. Oh, okay. So, we, if you're not a client already, and if you're single, and if you ever thought, you know, wonder what it's like to meet a matchmaker, talk to a matchmaker. So. Yes, yes. J ha have him just so that he can click it and get to me if possible. Mm. Ryan is amazing. I don't know how he does this stuff. That's why he's the social media manager. Okay, so. <clears throat> <laughs> what? Ryan called you boss. Come on, Maureen. You know I'm bossy. You think I'm going to deny being bossy? Anyway. So, um, well, now we Lenny. have a celebrity guy that is going to be tuning in. Lenny. Yes. Stucker. Yeah. Okay. We probably shouldn't say people's last names. Because remember, people, all of you cannot see the people that we see, unless you were already my friend and they are my friend. So if it's someone coming on just because we're live, don't expect to see them. It's just um, a little thing that Facebook does when it comes to the Facebook Live. Okay, so now as far as the party goes, I will have a party for all of my clients. We will. This is just my PR company is wonderful, the best, the best, the best, and they are hosting this party. And Maureen, please say you're coming with, please. Let me know once Maureen answers that question. So um, it's going to be very exciting. You can check on our social media to find out where the the information is and how do you sign up for it again i have to preface it just can't be for the clients already because we have a cap of 100 people and there's already 75 people so if and you have to show id yeah your name has to be on the list so i just so hope. trying okay great barbara. so hey barbara so again we will have another party, but this one's different. Oh, there's Buster in the background. Come here, Buster. Yesterday was um, annual dog day or something, and I did not post the picture of my two babies because, as everyone knows, when I'm doing the match, when Stacey and I are doing the matchmaking on Monday matchmaking day till 2 in the morning sometimes, I am always posting pictures of the dogs sleeping right in front of me. So 
Like, every, I always joke around, like, you know, they say if your house ever catches on fire, you go running out. I'm like, I need to schedule that to happen because I can't just go running out of the house. So please, if there's gossip, you're going to need emergency. Do not let it be on matchmaking day. <laughs> <laughs> so... I, I don't need to post, or I didn't need to post photos of my dogs because I post photos of the dogs all the time. Anyway, okay. So, <clears throat> if you are not a client of MTN Matchmaking, if your age is 28 to 55, again, I'm sorry about the ages, but when it's not my party, I did not make the rules. I'm just benefiting from it from my great PR person. And we will have another event that will encompass everybody. But um, so for everyone that fits within that, look on our social media and sign up to attend. And I will see you Sunday in the Hamptons. We will see you Sunday in the Hamptons. Okay, next question, please. What should I do on my first in-person date with someone I've been virtually dating with for two weeks? Oh, okay, so that's a great question. Okay, because we remember day one of the pandemic started doing virtual dating and our clients love it. They still love it. Many of them want to continue doing it. We always recommend going out on three dates. So most of our clients will say for their first three dates, you know, can we do the virtual dating? Because it's less stressful, it's easier, it's quicker. You get to know the person so much faster. And by the time you get to see the person, you already know them. So you're not nervous anymore. It's, it's such a win-win situation for everyone. Genius. Genius! I'm not taking credit for it because that night I went to bed, I cried to my mother in heaven, and came to yes, me in my dream. What that person told you to do. Oh yes, my accountant so said, yes. Genius because, come on. Well, for those of you, you probably know the answer, but my accountant at the time said, you're going to have to close. You, your clients cannot expect you to do any work for them because they can't leave the house. You're not an essential worker, blah, 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 blah. I, there's no way I would ever have not worked with my clients. And I knew, well, I went to bed crying, praying to my mother. And it came to me in my dream. The next morning I called up Stacy and I said, okay, we're going to be doing virtual interviews. So people can now interview through Zoom, FaceTime, whatever they feel comfortable from the comfort of their own home because they can't go to Melville office. I can't even go to the Melville office or couldn't go. Which, does anybody have an attorney that deals with real estate? And maybe breaking a contract hypothetically with someone, with a company that didn't do the right thing during the pandemic. Because I mean, look, we didn't have to work, but we would never do that. So in fact, we ended up, once we did the virtual interviewing and the virtual dating, we took in double the amount of people that we normally would have. So we, and our clients that didn't wanna do virtual dating, we put them on a free pandemic hold time and sent them out weekly newsletters. And then, do you remember, Stacey, we did Facebook Live every single day because we wanted to spread the love all throughout the oh country. Oh my God, yeah, we film show every day, remember? Every day. Every day. Now, again, obviously this is nothing, okay? Nothing. But, just well, we to- We have tons of emails thanking us for doing the people with Wednesday, yes. which is so amazing. Tune in every day and write in and, and thank us afterwards. Yes. Call up after uh, clients, not clients. It, it really, looking back, I'm so happy we did it because so many people were happy with it. And that's what our hope was, that people would think, you know, I'm lonely. I'm stuck in my house, I'm single. 
you know, there's only so many times you can call your best friend or, you know, what have you. So we would every single day do Facebook Live. Then through my PR guy, we were getting so many press media people interviewing us because we did stay open and we did do virtual interviews and we did do virtual dating that it was just insanely crazy. So I would say only two months ago, did we then say, okay, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then we did that for a while. And then only I think a month ago or less, did we say, okay, we're gonna go back to what we usually always did, which is Friday Facebook Live. So here we are, Friday Facebook Live. And so this is where we answer your dating questions. If you wanna ask any questions, feel free to ask them here. Um, but it's uh, something that we love doing. We love our clients. We love single people. You don't even have to be single. You know how many married people will contact me and say, oh, that advice you gave really helped my wife or really helped me be a better husband to my wife, blah, 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 blah. So that's why we do it, make people happy. Okay, we are crazy busy though today, just, you know, crazy busy. And especially now thinking uh, oh. of <laughs> Ryan moving in tomorrow in Manhattan and then Sunday, so, so Sunday. Oh, and Stacy is going to be very soon reopening our Boca office since now Florida is getting better. When Florida just got to the point that it was really so dangerous, right, Stace? Stacy came yeah, up here. Yes, it is. The numbers are, are so significantly higher than here. But as soon as, the, as soon as the numbers come down, we're going to be hitting the ground running. Yes, yes, yes. And again, remember, you can live anywhere with virtual dating. You just, it takes yeah. being more patient. But again, the benefit is you'll always be compatible in three different ways. So, okay. Next question, Ryan. <laughs> I'm going to admit, oh my God, next Friday Facebook Live, he's not going to be in front of me. He's going to be on this hand on my other cell phone. Oh my God, both of you are going to be like this. Mm -hmm. Maureen, can you come over next Friday and be with me for our Facebook Live? Okay, go ahead. Next question. I have adult acne. How do I compete with people who have perfect skin nowadays in dating? Okay. I am going to refer to our expert on skincare at MTN Matchmaking yeah. for the answer. She, I, she I, down amazing. He is. He is amazing. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, Okay, give some examples. You, you need to answer that because I, thank God, I, I didn't get acne, thank I was very lucky because I know it's, you know, a big concern for people. So what would you recommend? How, um, what should like, people do? Go to a dermatologist, but also go to an esthetician because like dermatology is like the medical side, but estheticians are more helpful with like because like dermat dermatological like things are very abrasive and like oh um, can be harsh so you need to yes. like, nourish your skin for example retinol i you you know i'm allergic to retinol yeah, and that's know. supposed to be the you are too no you know no, thank God. oh but that's supposed to be the best thing for people's skin i can't do it Right now, it's like the only FDA approved thing that gets rid of wrinkles and fine lines. Mm. Permanently. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to check out my also, fine lines. A lot of people have problems with acne, also have sensitive skin. Mm. And I have sensitive skin too, but. They have like fragrance in their skincare, which is really irritating. 
Yeah. I, um, I think that's obvious. People with if you acne, have acne, don't use anything with a fragrance. People with acne tend to, like, want to stroke like, their skin with, like, an acne cleanser. Okay. But that's only going to make your skin overproduce in oil and make your skin extra oily because a lot of people who have acne have really oily skin, so they strip their skin with, like, acne cleansers, which only makes it more oily because your body reacts to that. Um, Interesting. Um, so you want to get, like, maybe a cream. You should be double cleansing. Um, you get a cream cleanser or, like, an oil to remove all of your makeup and SPF that you should be wearing um, in the day. And then you go in with your, like, gel or, like, a water cleanser, like a regular gentle cleanser. Mm -hmm. I would recommend CeraVe's Hydrating Ooh. Cream Cleanser. Um, we should put that on, and maybe you can endorse that product for them. Yeah. And then... Brian is also a professional. And then I would get, like, a toner with an active ingredient. Doesn't that have alcohol in it, though? No. A toner? Like, you shouldn't be using toners with alcohol in it. Because, like, a lot of people use witch hazel, which is mm -hmm. really not good for your skin. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, you know, everyone just assumes that's, like, the next step is, like, to use witch hazel. They have witch hazel without alcohol, which is fine. But usually witch, hazel. witch hazels have uh, some sort of fragrance in it. Yeah, I would um, think. Which is a good... Hmm. So I would get like a toner with like an active ingredient, like glycolic acid, azelaic acid. Acid? Yeah, it's an exfoliator because a lot of people with acne use scrubs with salicylic acid in it, and that's really inflammatory to their current acne. Like any physical. I hope you can all hear this. Any physical scrub you have uh, is not going to be good for your skin. Like it's just going to create micro abrasions on your skin and just inflame and make it more prone to acne and infection. So you would want to get like a glycolic acid, which is a chemical exfoliant, or oh. like a BHA or an AHA, alpha hydroxy something. But um, Mother, matchmaker, that's all I know. Yeah. And they come in, like you could buy um, them in powder form and then mix it in if you do want to get some, mix it with like water or something, if you do want some like physicalness of it. But um, that's not needed. Um, and then... You would want to find um, some serums, maybe with like nine minocide, that um, help brighten and like strengthen pores. And can you um, do a blog on this today too, <laughs> for real? And helps, this should be a blog, don't you think? Helps control oil production because a lot of people have that Here problem. And then I would do like a basic ass um, moisturizer. Did with, you like, say ba basic, basic ass? Yeah. Basic, very basic, like, moisturizer. Um, but then, like, with moisturizers, it's tricky because people with acne are, like, kind of terrified to moisturize because they feel like it's going to create more problems. But you have to get um, a moisturizer that's very plain and simple um, with no fragrance in it. Probably, like, from CeraVe, they have one. It's, like, moisturizing cream. It's, like, very basic. This is um, amazing information. And then you want to seal that in. Because people who have acne have damaged skin. Like, it's, like, it's like cuts, like, on your skin. Mm. So you want to get a healing ointment, or you could use, like, Aquaphor or Vaseline mm. to put on top of it. And that, like, if you told someone with acne that, they would be like, I'm not putting Vaseline on yeah. my acne. But yeah, yeah. it helps it repair faster, so it okay. can heal. Okay. Promise yeah. me you will do a blog for everyone because I'm sure everyone was like me in awe of all that information. And even though I, I don't suffer from that, hey, Leah, I do think many people do. There's a lot of so, uh, like Twitter and Instagram accounts you can follow. I follow where I got like literally all well, this information. Put, put that in the blog. Okay. Right he's, he, Ryan is going to put all this in a blog for everyone saying... How to reduce adult acne? Is that good? Ryan's recommendation, awesome. maybe. Or okay. even just skincare. Skincare, yes. Adult skincare. Okay. I mean, right. I use. I mean, I have some really good products I like to use too. But I think skincare. I mean, look, makeup is wonderful, but it comes off. I'm just saying, like, mm -hmm. so skincare is so important. Mm -hmm. Also, don't do face masks. 
kind of look useless. Okay. Don't you what? Face no. masks. So, oh, yeah, well, I can like, like, that, yeah, I don't care about them, and we'll have a stereo, too, possibly. Like, people put clay masks on all the time, and that's really drying. And, like, they put it under their eyes, too, which is mm. not what you should be doing at mm -hmm. all. Um, follow Makeup for Women of Color on Twitter and Instagram. She's amazing. Huh. Tiara. Well, again, put this all on for people. Okay, next question. I know I'm... I want to be an esthetician. <laughs> Who said that? Maureen. Yes, definitely. But, but everyone's skin is different, so right. don't take what I say as like absolute fact. Okay. Disclaimer. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Because we have so much to do today. For real. Crazy busy. Crazy, crazy busy, but that's good. Oh, um, has just wondering when it comes to meeting someone, as we were discussing the question, I don't think I actually gave a, a answer for that. When you're dating someone virtually first and you want to then meet them in person, what are some good ideas? Of course, I went out on a tangent, okay, which I always do. But the answer to that question, I always remember, even if it's now during Facebook Live or two in the morning, if I would wake up, I would remember. So some good things during the summer before it ends, go to the beach with someone. But say, you know, I have two hours to go to the beach, if that's okay. Because you don't want to go to the beach and you never want to have an eight hour date anywhere. That is the biggest mistake in dating that people will go out and they'll have such a great time. We recommend you go out for an hour and a half or two hours the most for the first three dates. There's a reason for that. But sometimes people say, oh no, we're having such a great time. Maureen and blah, blah, blah. They don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to go out for eight hours. And what happens is women subconsciously self-sabotage themselves. So the next day, hi, Tyler. The next day, that woman is going to wake up. And now remember, you just had a fantastic day yesterday, eight hours. Subconsciously, we've seen it happen thousands of times in my 19 years of matchmaking, she will think of the one thing in eight hours that she didn't like. And you probably are thinking, that's insane, that's crazy. People do it because they're nervous. Women do it because they're nervous. It's called self-sabotaging. Now, that is why we have our guidelines of what to do and why not to go out on such a long date for our first three dates. There's a reason for that. So. Just trust, because it's going to happen to you if it hasn't already. If you don't believe me, then go out on your eight-hour date. And the next day, when the girl says, oh, yeah, I'm busy, and you're thinking, what? We had the best, best eight-hour date ever. It happens all the time. She is thinking of the one thing that you said that's different than her. Now, here at our, in our program with dating coaching, yes, could we fix that? Of course. But the point is, just follow the guidelines if you are going to be a client because we have them laid out for you so that you can be successful. Okay, so that is that. Okay, next question. I found out my date is more of a Republican than I thought. He doesn't have the same values as I thought he did. Should I call it quits now before it's too late? This is the hottest new subject. Oh, okay. Um, Stacy, do you remember why this is the hottest new subject? No, I couldn't hear the full question. I heard about values. What was it okay, it's about politics and dating. Oh, good Lord. So, if um, you regularly follow our social media, You'll see yeah. anytime I've been interviewed 
on the different subjects from, I mean, for 19 years, uh, I've been on different things, giving different subjects, but day one, day two of the pandemic is when I think we got the first phone call. What are people going to do about dating? So it has been nonstop since that, but different subject matters during the pandemic. For example, the first thing was our survey that our ladies did and they chose Andrew Cuomo and Chris Cuomo as the hottest men uh, in New York. The, that blew up into Andrew Cuomo, Governor Cuomo, saying on different press medias that I had already been interviewed on that his brother is not qualified because he's married. But again, it, the survey, we do it every year. Who do you think the, and then we'll do it to the guys. We give surveys all the time. Who do you think is the hottest, you know, guy? That's what we did. And they chose them both as a tie, which was insane. So if you check out our social media or even our, our website, mtnmatchmaking.com, you'll see all those interviews. So first it was dating, virtual dating, which we just started doing, you know, that day two of the pandemic, that's what we are doing. Then it was the Cuomo's and Andrew Cuomo stating that he is eligible and single from our survey. Then I think it was dating with a mask and having sex with a mask or without a mask. Then it was, um, there were a few other things in there, which you'll see. But now the newest thing is politics and dating. The New York Times called us, it was like three weeks ago, I did the actual interview with the New York Times. But as everyone knows, with the press and media, sometimes if you do something, it doesn't come out that Monday. So this came out, I think, three days ago. And all of a sudden, it was 10 o'clock at night, and I get a bing on my phone from Google alert, um, you know, the New York Times article that you gave a, you know, blah, 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 showed up. So you could read that just to get the answer to this question by reading the, did you make that a blog also, right or no? Oh, you don't need to because it's an article and the article is on our social media, but rather, you know, if you don't want to take the time to look at it, I will tell you that my belief used to be years ago, I always said, just don't talk about religion, sex, and politics on the first three dates. And that would be fine, fine, fine. Now, this past year, especially this first year, we have to now set, oh, and before this, it was the Corona test. That was the other big thing. And that's why I got my Corona test, COVID test, and I am negative. So all singles should also do that as a segue. Okay, so nowadays with politics, unless you are the type of person like myself that can agree to disagree. And to me, that's like, the best. Most of our clients are like that. Agree to disagree. If you're not that type of person, if you feel one way and that's the only way, then you tell us because we ask that question now and we will only match you with your own political party. Whereas again, we would never touch this before because our clients should never ever have made it an issue before a year ago. Now that it's such a big issue, we have no choice. As a matchmaker for 19 years, I've had to adapt the program so many different times because of so many different things that changed in the world. Um, perfect example with the COVID pandemic. But the bottom line is 
I would say to answer that person's question, if you're having trouble already with some of the things that person is saying, end it now because it's not going to get better. And that person who asked the question, uh, sorry, but you're clearly not the type of person that can agree to disagree. Now, it's my opinion, the best relationships, I'm getting darting eyes at me, but as a dating coach, as well as Stacy is a certified dating coach, we would say that if you can agree to disagree, that is the best way to be because then you're an easygoing personality. You're going to be easier to match. You're going to be, it'll be easier for you to stay happily married or with your partner if you are like that. If you are, it's my way when it comes to politics, not your way, then you have to stay within your own political party. But something that, again, we do at MTM Matchmaking is we're asking people that specific question. Now, I'm not sure, I think it's important for me to mention this, that there is something that was going around on internet dating sites that people, Stacy, did you hear this? They wanted me to do a segment on this as well, that people were literally lying about their political affiliation just to get someone. Meanwhile, the, it's not what they believed at all. Hey, Lori, we love Lori. How are you, babes? Yay. So again, um, it, it, it depends, but we know what our clients want as far as politically, but I really would say most of our clients can agree to disagree. Most, not all, but that's the benefit of coming to us because we know that. So, okay, next question, Ryan, because we have so much work to do. My dad is obsessed with his phone. Should I take that as a hint because he's not interested in helping me or is he just addicted to technology? Okay, either way, it is a red flag. If you're on a date and that person is looking at their phone, unless they're a heart surgeon, that's disrespectful. Unless they have a newborn that they're leaving for the first time ever with someone, again, those are probably the two only situations where I would say it's okay to bring your phone and to answer your phone. Is it, in love? Aww, I'm so happy. We love Lori. Yay. Stacey, do you see that? Lori? In love. Yeah, oh no, but I already know what I already know what the clapping is about. <laughs> so it's so happy. Four, so we are so, so happy. We are so happy, Lori. So happy you have no idea. We got to stay positive no. and and just and being how she is, uh, you know, it just, it, it, yeah. it, it just makes sense, right? I mean, That's all it takes. In the be positive, be patient, be open-minded, and it works. Oh, my God. Imagine that. That's all it takes. On that note, the bus phone has been ringing. And okay, ringing okay, and okay. And I, all right, so um, did I answer that question? Yeah. Okay, so... Unless someone has an immediate question now, we really have to get back to work. <sighs> but we are wishing everyone a very, very happy weekend. Be safe uh, later today and tomorrow because I think that's when we're getting bad weather in New York. Except Sunday is going to be beautiful. Sunday, again, is going to be the Hamptons event for non-clients the first time. And remember... It's not me that planned the party, but you will have to be on the list and you will have to show ID. So, again, I want to say. And we just wanted to say hi. Oh, I love it! I am so happy! Love you. Love you, love you. Okay. What a great way to end Friday Facebook Live.
Okay, everyone. So have a wonderful weekend. And bye. we'll see you next Facebook Live Friday. And Ryan, say goodbye. Bye. Okay, bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And if you have any questions, just check out our social media. Everything is under mtnmatchmaking.com. Bye.